and welcome again to another powerful edition of Rue. Jersey Joe here. I on the box over there behind the wheel of his car. He pulled over to BS with you and I, and I think that's very good. But he's practicing safe driving. He's not texting while driving. He's pulled over along the side of the road there. I think you are, right? Yes, that's correct. I'm not driving. You know, well, the whole coronavirus thing has us all, you know, stuck behind these four walls. Everybody needs to get out and about a little bit. I did the other day. But we're thinking ahead, like after the pandemic, once it's all said and done, where would you like to travel to? That's a question put out on social media and got a bunch of answers. When this pandemic is over and we can travel, airlines are flying, things are the new normal, whatever happens, where would you like to go? Joel and I have our ideas. I've got all yours from social media too, and there's some pretty good ones that, I, uh, that I'm looking forward to bringing up with you guys in a second. But Joel, I know you're out and about driving, but when this whole thing is over, where would you like to travel to? This isn't gonna surprise you. <laughs> Probably not. New York City, baby. I wanna go to a Yankee game. I was actually thinking about getting a suite. I miss baseball so bad. Uh, New York City is where I'll be going first, probably. Nice. You probably already know my answer. Where do you think I would like to go? I would say you're going to say Vegas. Ding, ding, ding. You win. That's right. I also <laughs> – absolutely. And I'm already getting the room offers out there for when Vegas is starting to reopen. And it's damn tempting right now, but we got to practice our patience. It's not totally open yet. Things aren't where they're supposed to be yet. So just hang on there for the traveling. But, yes, definitely I can't wait to just get shit-faced with you at the Four Queens and watch some baseball. That, that ah, will be fun. Me too. Anyway, let's get to your comments. And by us, I mean Joe, because he has the stack and I don't. I do have the stack. And there are a lot of interesting ones here. And you guys got creative as always, so let's go. And Jay Leakster says he's going to the Bahamas, and he already has this vacation booked already. Bologna says, I am scheduled to fly to Hawaii on July 9th. Oh, I hope she can still make that. Woody Jr. says he wants to go to the Maldives. Oh, Kirby, not bad. Farm Gal 39 I love her answer. Joel, you will too. She says she wants to go to T-Mobile to see VGK to Vegas Golden Knights. May have to get my hair and nails done first, though. Can't wait to do that either. SFL coach says he wants to head with the family to meet up with our other family members at the cottage. That's one thing I think some people are trying to do is like somehow, you know, they've been separated from family in other states. And now they're organizing trips. Well, maybe we can go, you know, rent a cabin in the Poconos, get the whole family together and have like a family weekend. I think those kind of trips are going to kick in first before the big travel like you and I to Vegas or to Yankee Stadium. Though that's definitely going to happen. It's actually already kind of happening. People are still going traveling and seeing their families. I would advise against it. I know health officials will say the same thing, but I certainly understand that people really want to see their families. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I guess it's a nice way to do it, but you're right, though. You just give it time. Let's hang on here. We're still not all ready to go yet. Let's not be Georgia and all those states that are jumping the gun already. Hold on. For a second. But speaking of hold on for a second, let's hold on for more of your comments because uh, Colin Simpson comments and says, New Orleans to get shit faced. Hey, Amen. I like that answer. Starman comments said he wants to go to the bar. And Benjamin Henry says, My favorite local bar, the Spur, nationally. That's it. Shut the show down. Definitive answer. We're good. Wrap this up. That's the answer. Perfect. All the bars, all the shit faces. Yes. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. It's, it's fun to get up at home, but yeah. Yeah. We need to get out. And even though Joel's behind the wheel, remember, you guys don't drink and drive. You call a ride share if you happen right. to be out and about. Be smart about it. But more of your comments right now, because Darren the intern says he wants to go easy. 161st of River Yankee Stadium. That's our answer. Rafa Guitar, he says Yankee Stadium. And Mike F3825, he too also says Yankee Stadium. I, yeah, you know, even though being so close to New York City here, I have not been anywhere near New York, near, near Yankee Stadium. I haven't even been in New York City in almost two months. I walked to the water yesterday and saw for the first time and I was like oh my goodness I never thought the day would come where I would actually miss like riding the path train and the subway all those little things we took for granted like not the subway for you for me like I went hiking last weekend because you know the trails are right outside of Vegas we had them forever but we always take them for granted like we'll go there one day well, now's, now's the time to, to appreciate the little things. Absolutely. And Tom's got the final comment in the show, and I appreciate his because I like it. Where would he like to go? He would like to go back in time. And I got to tell you, living in this new normal right now, I am on board with getting that magic time machine, and I hope to God he has. I'd like to go back in time like five years and also warn myself that this crap is going to happen and try to plan appropriately if we somehow could. Absolutely. That's the best answer, actually. The crazy thing is, Joel, like, if we tried to warn our future selves that this was going to happen, I don't think anybody would believe us because it's so unfathomable this actually really went down. That's absolutely right. There's nothing we could do about it, even if we knew everything we know now. We, there's no way no one would believe us. It just wouldn't happen. People don't believe me now about all my correct predictions. I put them all over Twitter all the time. People think I'm crazy, but a lot of the shit comes true. 
The other crazy thing is, too, like, if you actually went and go ahead and made this prediction, like, saying this thing would come from China, the feds would be like, wait a minute, what are you doing messing around with the Chinese government? And then you got some big FBI dude at your door, you know, asking questions. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants that. But you know what they do want? They want you to click that, like, subscribe button down below for all the big fun on the Jersey 50 YouTube channel. Four big shows waiting for you. Give my like, gift cards for fun. And that's what we do here. Have fun. And we love chatting with you each every week and enjoying all your great comments you guys are dropping online. It's uh, have a lot of fun out there. And you know what? Sometimes it's the best we can do right now in this new normal to escape and have a little fun online. That's, I think, is another great answer. Amen to that. All right, Jersey Joe here. I am saying thanks for joining us for the big show. Joel's going to run to the store here. I'm going to give him a grocery list to pick up a few things for me there. So we're going to wrap this show up by saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, I hope.